What's your view? Is Graham right with his criticism of Rashford? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, he's right at the moment, I suppose, because Marcus Rashford's had a really bad season. But I, I do, th- I personally think he is a top player. I think when Marcus Rashford's firing, he's um, he, he has been one of the best players in Europe. I think last season that was the case, and a couple of years ago. What I can't disagree with, and what no United fan will disagree with, is the fact that he is a bit like a light switch. It's on and off, and uh, at twenty six, really, you want it to be on a lot more than it's off. Um, I think he's uh, he's certainly been better in the last few games, and. He still has a lot to contribute to the team, but it has been a really challenging season. Um, but look, I can't, I can't say that that mm. Graham's wrong that he's having a bad season. I think he knows that himself. He's he's moody, Mark. He's become a he's become a a moody sort of individual to me, Marcus. And when I, was, I don't, and I don't mean, I'm talking football wise, mm. football wise, and they and they can be difficult players to have in your team because you're looking at me thinking, what mood you in today? What, am I, what are we going to get from you today? And I think they frustrate you, those sort of players. I saw him after his Belfast escapade. I saw the Wolves game when he came back in. I thought he, he scored his goal, didn't he, early on in the game. And he, I, I thought he linked up really well with Luke Shaw. And I saw, again, signs of that, bits of that in the first half, again, against uh, Luton at the weekend. But then he, he goes out the game for 20 minutes. You know, it's not like a few minutes. He goes out the game for big spells and you don't see him. And then he bursts back in. He's just, he's kind of this this sort of individual to me that if he's up for it, if he fancies it, you can be in trouble. You really can if you're playing against him. But if he's not, then United are, can also be playing with 10. Yeah, I think at Manchester United, you're right, Andy, you can't be like that. And this is why Manchester United aren't Arsenal, Liverpool or Manchester City because they've got players that turn it on I mean, not every week, not everyone can do that, but most weeks, whereas at Manchester United, Marcus Rashford has been very, very indifferent. Um, but there's nobody who can really push him out of the team. He's the biggest paid player. He's the, you know, He has been the star of the team. And look, you look at the changes United are making with the CEO and the director of football, if they're going to implement a winning mentality to take on the biggest teams in the country, then you need to look at players like Marcus Rashford and others and say, you don't put the work in week in, week out. So why aren't you happy? And if you're not happy, we're not happy either. Uh, here's a summer opportunity for you to maybe go to PSG and uh, replace Mbappe and have a fresh start and everyone works out. Uh, look, inevitably, Mark, when it comes to United, everybody talks about, you know, the likes of Rashford and Rasmus Hoyland and so on and so forth. Well, what's the news on Luke Shaw? Because I think he has such a massive impact on the team when he's playing and he's fit. Yeah, I think uh, it's, it's interesting, Jeff. There's a few United fans sort of saying it might be time to cash in on Luke Shaw because he's become very injury prone. And I do understand that. There's no point having a player that can only play 50% of, of, of your games. But I agree, Luke Shaw, I've, I've always been a fan of Luke Shaw. and In the fan base, he can be a bit divisive and I've never really understood it because I think he's got such a talent defensively and going forward, a great engine, um, very, very intelligent defender as well. He can play left centre-back. And when he's in the team, you really do notice it. He gets more out of Marcus Rashford than anybody else does at the moment. So when he's injured, I think we really, really do notice it. And there are so many issues at Manchester United that need solving. Having to replace Luke Shaw, to me, would just be a problem that is way, way down the list. So hopefully this, this latest injury won't be that long because he's a huge miss when he's not in the team. Mm. And you welcome the appointment of Dan Ashworth, obviously he's on gardening leave at the minute, Mark, but 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 that's the man that can turn the, the club's fortunes around? Yeah, I think I think it's absolutely massive. I mean, I've, I've been listening to, the, uh, to what's been said over the last couple of days about it and Dan Ashworth's building something at Newcastle and for Manchester United to swoop in and take somebody from a rival, I mean, it, it, it's massively damaging for Newcastle and it's a big positive for Manchester United. The biggest thing is, is can they negotiate? Um, and it's in everybody's part uh, interest now when he's on gardening leave. He's not working at Newcastle, is he really anymore? Can they get him into Manchester United quickly? Because as we all know, the summer transfer window does start it, it, some, for some clubs in January and you need to have that person making decisions on on, on players that need to go and, and more importantly targeting the sort of players that are going to improve Man United mm. so get it done quickly uh, Just very briefly then Mark um, Kobe Maynard the Euros are coming too too quickly for him aren't they? I'm split on this I, I think that when you look at people like Calvin Phillips and Jordan Henderson there's a real gap uh, beyond Declan Rice and Jude Bellingham to, to be to be filled in. I really like Conor Gallagher at Chelsea. Um, I think James Ward-Prowse has been criminally underrated. But if we're having that conversation, 
Kobe Mainu would be a little bit like taking a Michael Owen or a Theo Walcott or a Wayne Rooney, which we've done in the past, where they're a young player that you put in that squad and um, they, they go and get the experience. He's definitely... The progression over such a short period of time is amazing. He's so fundamental to the way United play. Completely selfishly, I don't want him to go because he's so young. We, we, we've got this tendency to burn, uh, burn players out and it's so demanding these days. I, I would selfishly mm. want him to have the summer off, but on pure talent, I think he's got to be in the conversation for me. I, I think Michael Richards was making exactly the, the same point, Mark. Mark, thanks very much indeed. Thanks, Mark. No worries. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6am on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.